Welcome to the behind the scenes for our homemade Red 2 trailer. Now, Red 2 isn't exactly your summer blockbuster type movie, but it is an action comedy, so we thought there was some cool action and some miniatures that we could do, yet also some funny character performances. So let's take a peek at how we did it. The first step is always looking at every individual shot to see how we're going to pull it off. And this one actually had more shots than we'd ever done before. It's 89 shots in total. That's a lot of costumes, wigs, toys, and characters. This trailer really is an ensemble cast. We've got some ladies. We've got Darby coming in to do the Mary Louise Parker. We've got, you know, Helen Mirren, who's played by my friend Hari, who also plays Catherine Zeta-Jones, Anthony Hopkins is in two shots. Great comedian friends, Ithmar came in, just did those two shots and just nailed it. And then we've got to cast two bald dudes because we've got John Malkovich and Bruce Willis. So we reached out to uh, Chris, who's our kind of go-to bald guy. And in fact, I think it's the first time we've not put a wig on him in a video. So he's happy about that. I don't get naked in this one. Then we found Ron Babcock, another great comedian. Now that we had the two bald guys, it was like, okay, who's got a good Willis and who's got a good Malkovich? We're gonna have a Malkovich off. I'm gonna make you my Malkovich. Malkovich? Yeah. You haven't killed anybody in months. You haven't <laughs> killed anybody in months. You haven't killed anybody in months. You haven't killed anybody in months. You haven't killed anybody in months. I think I think I'm leaning towards towards Malkovich for you. I, it just I feel it. We got to do some cool miniatures on this one. There's some little action sequences that take place on the streets, and so we got some cool matchbox cars that totally match the cars in the trailer, the little blue one, and I built a truck, just a semi that we could use, and once we had that truck built, we just went in there with the iPhone really close, using the macro, and just knocked out those close-up shots, and you get a pretty cool action sequence out of it. Then we built some scaffolding that comes crashing down over some of the street and the cars, and then all of that miniature stuff intercuts with some of the live action stuff that we did. We even built a cool little Parisian street. One of the cars zips around a corner, and we just took two rows of books and just made like a little hallway of books, and it totally just looks like a colorful street, and the car just zips down it. If you're looking close, at the end of the street, there's even a France travel guide. Some of the miniature stuff that we did was was fire related again. We're getting pretty good at our fire technique. We set up a little parking lot on my patio table and we just picked some weeds and put them in place as trees. Timing a little hole in the cardboard for the fire to come through and then lifting the car at the right moment. There was one setup in particular where we wanted to not have to light everything on fire over and over. We wanted to just get it in one take. So we set up three cameras, actually it was like two iPhones and a camera. Um, to get all three angles that we needed so we could just do this one explosion where the car flips all at once. So there are a bunch of title cards in this trailer of introducing the actors for each character. It's similar to the Terminator vision that we did on the Terminator scene, only this time I actually had time to build a proper like PVC pipe frame to attach to the camera. So I've got the camera and then I've got the PVC rig with a nice red filter on it and then I just drew out all the names of all the actors on some transparencies and then taped it. We get the actor in the costume, they just hold the pose and pretend like it's a still and then I just whoosh, I just whip the camera in. A lot of times I just need random background people so I'll end up having John, my producer, hop in. Can you spot how many times John plays a random background character? Hey John, I need you to be a waitress. So our bad guy has a huge Gatling gun that he's shooting out of the car. There's only a few quick shots, but we wanted to make sure it looked really cool. So I got a black pipe, just spray painted some lines on it. We actually used a like a Starbucks uh, travel pack thing, spray painted black, like soda can, and just like a random, look, here it is, random handle that I just happen to have because why would I throw this away? It's the coolest handle ever. When Bruce Willis and John Malkovich are dodging some gunfire and there's a bunch of glass pouring out of these car windows, I, we just cut up a bunch of plastic water bottles and some plastic stuff and dumped that over the car and it totally looked like fake glass. We also took some pieces of paper and just cut them out in little shapes to look like bullet holes and taped them to the side of the car. And a lot of you have noticed that I do the music and sound effects all myself, which is literally me just sitting here making weird sounds. And I just go through the whole thing, little by little, try and match all the songs and the music. Woke up this morning feeling fine. You see I'm coming at you every night. Everybody wants show. Something tells me I'm into 
something good. And that's how it all comes together. Be sure to subscribe because we've got new episodes every single Tuesday. Let me know in the comments what movies we should do next and if you have any more questions. Thanks for watching. I gotta get back to work. No, don't do it! I can't. I got a giant gun. Wow. I call this becoming Bruce Willis. <laughs>